Ohio State Trooper Joel Smith is used to high-speed pursuits, but this one is a little different. He's not chasing one of the civilian cars on the highway. He's after this cruiser. A few miles back, another officer had stopped two young men for possible drug possession. While interviewing one of the suspects, the other hopped in the cruiser and took off. Now he's tearing up the Ohio highways and masquerading as a police officer. Trooper Smith has to stop him before he wreaks any more havoc. But unlike most pursuits, this one has robbed police of many advantages. The stolen cruiser is every bit as powerful a machine as the one Trooper Smith is driving. Trooper Smith is armed, but he also knows that every cruiser is equipped with a shotgun, which means the suspect could come out firing. The trooper also knows that even using his radio could give the suspect a heads up about what the police are planning. But he's got one major edge over this guy. The lawman has years of training and several successful high-speed pursuits under his belt. All of them in a cruiser just like this one. And judging by the way this fugitive is driving, Trooper Smith is guessing that it's probably his first car chase. Plus, he already has reason to believe that the thief might be on drugs. And that's never improved anyone's driving safety record. His theory is about to be reinforced. With a roadblock rapidly approaching, the suspect's lack of driving skill is about to cost him. The distracted suspect thought he had enough room to squeak by these other vehicles, but his poor judgment finally caught up with him. Police are able to arrest their suspect, but there's no satisfaction because the innocent motorist who was hit has been injured. He'll survive and officers will take care to better secure their vehicles. After all, while a cruiser may be a trooper's most important tool, in the hands of the wrong person, it's a one-ton weapon.